and um, once you've done your thing there, we're gonna come to lay on your back with your knees bent. All right, so I'm gonna be on your back, knees bent, knees touching, feet all the way at the edges of the mat. And then inhale the arms out to the side and exhale, hand to opposite shoulder. And settle into the mat. Allow the back body to settle down towards the ground. Watch the breath. And just take note of how your digestive system feels. And inhale the arms out to the side and exhale with the other hand on top, other arm on top. Release any tension in the shoulders, the lower back, the groins. Release any tension in the belly. And release the arms and roll over onto the right side and come to sit. And uh, come to sit in Sukhasana. And you can sit on a block actually, it just makes it easier to lengthen the spine. It doesn't really matter which leg is in front right now. Whatever leg is um, the dominant leg or is comfortable here. And we're going to start with Sitali breath, which is actually really cooling for the body and for the digestive system. So if you're able to, you can curl the tongue. If not, you can just purse the lips. Okay, and we're gonna take two, or sorry, we're gonna breathe in for two through the either the tongue or the lips and then hold the breath for a second and then exhale through the nose and we'll do that five times okay so you can do it on your own breath cycle so inhale hold and then exhale through the nose and then continue to do that four more times So this actually promotes optimal digestion and can really soothe an upset stomach. Good, and then after the next exhale, just return to regular breathing and bring your hands together at heart center dedicate your practice good and then we'll just start with one ohm so take an inhale oh. beautiful okay and then come to lay on your back again bend bend the knees and then draw the knees in towards the chest. Rock side to side here for a minute. Release any tension in the belly. And this right here is actually the ultimate digestion pose. Um, it's the, it's um, non-Sanskrit name is, um, I think it's like gas, po gas pose or something. Gas release pose, which is, Perfect. Okay, and then start to circle the knees clockwise. Good, nice. 
equal inhales and exhales, and then change direction of the knees. And come back to center and keep the right knee in towards the chest and reach the left leg long. Good, the left leg is about six inches above the ground. Really lengthen through the left heel. And exhale, draw the right knee in closer towards the chest. And release the tension in the upper back. Breathe into the belly. And exhale, change legs. Extend through the right heel. And draw the left knee in towards the chest. And exhale, switch. Nice. Exhale, switch. Reach through the right heel, draw the left knee in towards the chest. And then exhale, switch. And take the left leg down to the ground, right arm out to the side. And then exhale, the right leg across the body towards the left. Look out over the right shoulder. And you can just take the right leg across the body any amount. It's not a competition, either with other people or yourself right here. Release any tension in the belly and the lower back. And walk the right fingers away. Couple more rounds of breath here. And inhale, come back to center. And take the left leg into the chest, right leg goes to the ground. And the left arm out to the side. And exhale the left leg across the body. Look out over the left shoulder. Good, hollow out the belly, release any tension there. Take a nice inhale into the belly and then exhale, release the tension. And inhale, come back to center. Bend both knees, take the hands through the legs to the outside of the feet for happy baby. And reach the heels up towards the ceiling and the knees down towards the armpits. And relax the belly. Lengthen through the groins. And rock side to side a little bit, give your back a lower back a bit of a massage. You might notice that your belly starts to make funny digestion noises as well. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> and actually the beauty of yoga at home is that you can let it all go. <laughs> Couple more breaths. Good, and then release the feet. Take the feet back down to the ground, knees bent. And grab that block close by, even if it's not, grab it. And take the block in between the thighs. Bring the elbows towards the ribs. Bend the elbows, fingers pointing up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, move the knees away from you and lift the hips. Squeeze the block between the thighs. And press down through the heels. We'll stay here for a few rounds of breath. Keep pressing down through the triceps to lift the chest, through the heels, and squeeze the block. 
and exhale, lower the hips back down and remove the block. Keep the feet where they are and the arms where they are. Again, press down through the triceps and exhale, move the knees away from you and lift the hips into bridge pose again. And press down through the heels. And we're gonna do a few pulses here, actually 10 pulses. So inhale, lower the hips about an inch and exhale, squeeze the glutes back up. And we'll do that 10 times on your own breath cycle. They can be slow and controlled movements. Really use the glutes to power this movement. Release any tension in the belly. And again, just note the digestive system. Notice how it's feeling, the sounds it's making. If it starts to feel better, if it starts to feel worse. Okay, and then the next time you come back to um, the top, just hold here. Keep pressing down through the heels. And then exhale, lower the hips down. Good, take the arms out to the side. In a T position, arms facing down. And keeping the feet where they are, exhale the knees over towards the right. And inhale, center. Exhale, left. And we'll continue to do this five times on each side on your own breath cycle. So you're inhaling center and exhaling to each side. Release any tension in the belly. Lengthen through the crown of the head and through the tailbone. And walk the fingertips away from each other. Good. And then the next time you come back to center, just pause there and cross the shins. Take the hands to behind the thighs. And we're just going to do three rolls here. So belly button to spine. And then come to Sukhasana and pull through to Tadasana. Good. Oh, head rush. <laughs> All right. Press down through <clears throat> both feet. So the feet are right underneath the hips. Press down through all four corners of the feet. Belly button to spine, palms facing forward. And close the eyes here for a moment. And use this to dasana to connect to the body. Feel the feet connecting to the earth beneath you. And do a quick body scan. Just notice where you might feel tension. Notice the digestive system. If there's any bloating, heartburn. Good, and open the eyes. Inhale the arms up. Reach with the fingertips, look up towards the hands. Root down through the feet and reach through the hands. And exhale, swan dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to shins, look forward. Reach through the tailbone and the crown of the head. And exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to all fours. And exhale. Sit back on the heels. Inhale, slide the chin and chest forward. And exhale, sit back on the heels. Inhale, slide the chin and chest forward. Do that two more times. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, slide forward. And last time, exhale, sit back. Inhale, slide forward. And this time, stay where you are. And actually, I should have said, grab that um, towel or blanket. I don't know where to put mine. Oh, here it is. 
and you're just gonna um if you have a towel actually or a blanket just gonna fold it so it's kind of long like this and then roll it up so it's gonna be in like a long sausage shape and we're going to do a digestion reboot here okay so once you have that towel or blanket make sure that it's um, nice and um, flat not flat but like no bumps in it okay and then just come down to lay on the blanket or towel so that it's right underneath the belly button Okay, and then bring the elbows right underneath the shoulders for Cobra. And then draw, as you exhale, draw the chest through the arms. And as you inhale, allow the belly to press into the blanket. And as you exhale, Allow the belly to hollow out and just let that blanket or towel sink into the belly. And if this causes pain, obviously we don't want that, so you can just take the blanket away and continue in Cobra. Firm the shoulder blades into the back. And we're going to stay here for about four more rounds of breath. Okay, and then inhale the back down to the mat. Take the hands to either side of the chest and inhale onto all fours take the blanket away tuck the toes and step back into downward facing dog Adho Mukho Svanasana and ground down through the heels lift with the hips shift the weight back in back towards the hips away from the wrists and firm the shoulder blades Shake the head, no, and not the head, yes, a few times. Just release any tension from the neck and the upper back there. Breathe into the belly area. And bend the knees. Exhale, walk the feet towards the hands. And inhale, hands to shins, look forward. Reach with the crown of the head and the tailbone. And exhale, Uttanasana, standing forward bend. And you can bend the knees here a little bit if you like. Just let the hands hang, let the head hang. And sway side to side. Just getting some nice movement into the lower back. And take the hands to the hips. Inhale, come to stand. Good. Okay, come back down onto all fours. <clears throat> and then take your block so that it's um, kind of just underneath the head and take the knees, open the knees out to the side, feet together. And we're going to walk the hands forward into child's pose and take the chin to the block. And allow the hips to settle back towards the heels. Firm the shoulder blades. Relax the belly. Few more rounds of breath. And inhale, come back to all fours. And come on to, yeah, come on to all fours, press down through the hands. And we're gonna move into cat cow. So inhale for cow, exhale for cat. And you can do this on your own breath cycle. 
We'll be here for five cat cows. Good, and then come back to the center and keeping the hips where they are, I'm gonna walk the hands forward and allow the chest to settle down towards the mat, bring the forehead to the mat for extended puppy. And release the belly. Beautiful. A few more rounds of breath here. And inhale, come back to center, walk the hands back. Good, and then belly button to spine, press back and kneel on the shins. And step the left leg out to the left. The gate pose. And press down through the outside of that left foot. Engage the inner thigh. And exhale, slide the left hand down the left leg and inhale the right arm up and look up underneath the right armpit <laughs> keep reaching with the right fingers and slide that left hand down the left leg a few more rounds of breath this is a great pose to help with digestion as well. And inhale back to center. Set the left foot in and then step the right foot out. Press down through the outside of the right foot. So you're really pressing down through the pinky toe side and you can see the arch of the foot lift. Engage the inner thigh, belly button to spine. And exhale, slide the right hand down any amount as you inhale the left arm up and reach it over towards the right. Look up underneath the left armpit. So you're lengthening the left side of the waist, but not collapsing into the right side. So you're really lengthening both sides. And reach over with the left fingers. And just try to breathe into the stomach area. So as you take an inhale, that inhale is moving down the body towards the feet. And as you exhale, it's moving up, back up through the body. And inhale, come back to center, step the right foot in, and tuck the toes, come to stand. And we're gonna stand at the top of the mat, feet together, press the inner thighs towards each other, ground down through all four corners of the feet, belly button to spine, palms facing forward, and again, just close the eyes, release any tension in the shoulders, release the belly, And relax the jaw. Open the eyes. Inhale, sit back in Utkatasana, chair pose. Belly button to spine, sit back into the hips and reach with the fingertips. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Good. And exhale, swan dive forward, Uttanasana. Again, let the hands hang, let the head hang. So you're looking back towards the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, look forward. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back to plank pose. Um, we can either do Chaturanga Dandasana here or use the um, all fours. Okay, exhale, down towards the mat. Inhale, up dog. 
Exhale, down dog. And pedal out the feet. Ground with each heel alternately. Inhale the right leg into the air and exhale, step the right foot forward, ground the back heel and come to stand with both legs straight. Good, and then take a block and place it on the outside of the right ankle at the highest height. And there's a line between the two heels here. Good, press down into the outside of that back heel. So there's a, the strength is going from the outside of the left hip down the back leg to the outside of that back heel. So you can really feel the, the strength of the pose in the back leg. Take the hand, the left hand to the left hip, belly button to spine, reach through the crown of the head. And then exhale, take the right hand to the block. And again, press down through the outside of the back heel. And then with the left hand, just turn that left hip towards, so it's pointing down towards the mat. Again, check in with the outside of the back foot. And then inhale the left arm up towards the ceiling. So the left hand is, the left arm is an extension of the bottom arm. And look up towards the left hand. Press down through the back foot and reach up through the left fingers. Hollow out the belly. And bend the front knee. Exhale, take the hands to the mat. Plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Again, pedal out the feet. Shift the weight towards the hips. And inhale the left leg into the air. Exhale, step it forward, ground the back foot. And take that block that is highest height to the outside of the left ankle. And again, there's the line between the two heels. And the right foot is at 15 degrees. And then again, take the or ground down through the outside of that back heel. You can see the arch of the back foot lift. Take the right hand to the right hip and then exhale the left hand to the block. Press down through the outside of the back foot again and turn the right hip down towards the, towards the mat. And then inhale the right arm up. Look up towards the fingers. You're going to move the belly button back towards the spine, but also release any tension in the belly. So it's not a, a gripping of the muscles there. It's just a strengthening and relaxing. Press down into the outside of the back heel. Reach up at the fingertips. The strength of this pose is in the back leg. You could almost pick up the front leg and the front arm and the left arm. Again, reach with the right fingers. And bend the left knee. Exhale the hands to the mat. Step back to plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up dog. And exhale down dog. Paddle out the feet. Good, and then ground both heels. Lift with the hips. And just soften the brain. Don't really need the brain in yoga. Just allow the body to do what it needs to do naturally. Connect with the breath. 
Good. Bend the knees and take three hops forward. And inhale the hands to shins, look forward. And exhale, Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Inhale, bend the knees for chair pose. Reach with the fingertips. Sit back into the hips. Beautiful chair poses, ladies. <laughs> and exhale, Tadasana. Okay, step the feet wide, about three and a half feet. Take the um, block at its highest height to outside the right ankle. And then turn the left toes in 15 degrees, right toes out 90 degrees. And again, there's a um, heel to heel alignment. Okay, press down through the outside of that back heel and lift with the crown of the head. So you've got a nice long spine. And then exhale, take the left hand over towards the block. And again, press down through the back heel. If the heel is not pressing down into the mat, if it's lifting, you can take that rolled blanket or towel and just take it under the heel. So you can press down the heel into the blanket. And inhale, lengthen the spine. So lengthen through the crown of the head and the tailbone. And then exhale, turn the chest towards the right, any amount. Press down into the outside of that back foot. So again, the strength is in the back leg and the back foot. And bend the front knee, inhale, come back to stand. Good, parallel the feet. And turn the right toes in nine, uh, 15 degrees, left toes out 90 degrees. Take that block to the outside of the left ankle. Press down through the back foot. So you can see when um, my, well, you can probably see it on yourself as well, that when you really push down into the back heel, the, the back leg goes from kind of bent to really pressing down. It's a nice straight leg. So you're moving the femur bone back towards the hamstring, engaging that quad. So the strength is in the back, back leg. And then keeping that strength, belly button to spine, exhale, take the right hand to the block for a revolved triangle. And again, you can use the blanket under the back heel if you'd like. And inhale, press down through the back heel and lengthen through the crown of the head to lengthen the spine. And then exhale, turn into the twist. Press down through the back heel again. Release any tension in the belly. A couple more rounds of breath. And bend the front knee, inhale, come back to stand, parallel the feet, and then heel toe the feet together. Good. Okay, come to sit on the mat, and you're going to sit on the block in Sukhasana with the right leg in front. And take the other block to outside the right hip, and settle the um, sit bones into the block. Wiggle the waist long, belly burn to spine, and release the tension in the shoulders. So just allow them to move from here and just relax them. So you don't have to move the shoulders down, but just allow them to, to release. And then take the right hand to the block, and you can either have the block at its lowest or medium height. Sometimes it's actually nice to have it at medium to just make it easier. You know, we don't have to fight with yoga. We can just make it as easy as possible. Inhale the left arm up. Reach with the fingertips. Lengthen the spine. And exhale, left hand to right knee. And turn to look over the back shoulder. Press down into that back block. 
And bend the elbows to move them away from each other to help you turn into the twist. So any kind of twist is great for the digestive system. But depending on how your digestive system is feeling, you can just take it any amount, you know. <laughs> if it's like right after Thanksgiving dinner, you probably want to take it really easy. I actually did this after Thanksgiving and um, I made it like halfway and I was like, yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> but it still really helped. And then inhale, come back to center and take the left leg in front. Again, settle into the block. Allow both of the groins to lengthen and take the block to outside the left hip. I'm actually even going to take it to the highest height. Wiggle the waist long and inhale the right arm up. Sorry, take the hand to the block, left hand to the block. And in, exhale, right hand to left knee. Turn to look over the back shoulder. And inhale, press down through the tailbone and lift through the crown of the head. And exhale, turn into the twist. Relax the belly. And exhale, twist a little bit more. And inhale, come back to center. Good, keep the left leg where it is and then step the right leg, right foot to outside the left thigh. And again, wiggle the waist long. Allow the sit bones to both press down into the block. And we're going to take that block to the other block to outside the right hip. Press down into that right block. And then inhale the left arm up. Lengthen the spine and exhale the left elbow to outside the right knee. And turn to look over the back shoulder. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, twist. Again, be as gentle as you need to be. Relax the belly. Couple more breaths. And inhale, come back to center. Cross the shins again with the right leg in front. And then step the left foot over to the right. So pressing down through the left foot. And settle the sit bones into the block. And you might notice that one side is considerably easier or more difficult. Wiggle the waist long and then take that block to outside the left hip. And then press down into the block. Inhale the right arm up, reach with the fingers and exhale the elbow to outside the left knee. And turn to look over the back shoulder. Press the tricep into the bent leg. Release the belly. And inhale, press down through the tailbone and lift with the crown of the head. So you're lengthening the spine from two directions. And exhale, twist. Breathe into the belly. And 
And inhale, come back to center. And just come off the block, reach the both legs long. And take the, both hands to either side of the hips, lift the hips and then press the backs of the legs down into the mat, tilt forward onto the front of the sit bones. And again, wiggle the waist long and bend the right knee. Take the foot as close to the groin as you can. And then take the block to outside the right hip. Lift up through the crown of the head. Inhale the left arm. Reach with the left fingers. And exhale the elbow to outside the right knee. Return to look over the back shoulder. And again, this is in any amount. So if you want to hug the left knee, sorry, hug the right knee, it's okay here as well. Press down through the tailbone and lift with the crown of the head. Lengthen through the left heel. So that left leg is engaged. And inhale, come back to center. Reach the right leg long. And bend the left knee. Take the foot close to the groin. And take the left, sorry, take the block to outside the left hip. And inhale. Lengthen the spine. Press down through the tailbone. Reach through the right heel. And then inhale the right arm up. And exhale. The elbow to outside the left knee. Press the elbow or the tricep into the knee. Exhale, turn into the twist. Any mount. Relax the belly. And inhale, come back to center, reach the left leg long. And then come back to sit on the block. Bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. You take the hands to the ankles and just rock side to side carefully so you don't fall off the block. And just allow the, the groins to lengthen on both sides. Good, and then take the other block to outside the right hip. And inhale the left leg over. So that the left shin is sitting in the um, arch of the right foot and the toes are pointing down towards the mat. Press down into the right, into the block, I'm sorry, into the block by the right hip. And then inhale the left arm up and exhale the left hand to the right knee and turn to look behind you. Inhale, press down through the tailbone and lift through the crown of the head. And exhale, twist. Relax the belly. And inhale, come back to center, bring the feet together. Okay, and just rock side to side. You really got to use your core here actually to stay on the block. <laughs> Good, and then inhale the right leg over to the left and then take the block by the left hip. Settle the left sit bone into the block and the right um, sit bone is kind of hanging off the block. So it really helps you to get some nice length in the spine here in an easy way. Much easier without the block. Sorry, much easier than without the block. Inhale the right arm up. Reach, 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 reach some more. And then exhale to the left knee. And turn to look behind you. Hollow out the belly.
Release any tension in the shoulders there. And inhale, come back to center. And cross the shins and roll over to uh, kneel on the knees. So we're going to um, just take the uh, feet out to the side and you can take a block or two underneath the hips for Virasana or the W for hero pose. Okay, allow the sit bones to settle into the block. Press the inner thighs towards each other. And then tilt forward onto the front of the sit bones. And press down through the tailbone, lift through the crown of the head. Put the hands to the thighs and just close the eyes. And breathe into the belly. Just allow the digestive system to do its thing. Check in with the body. Notice any tension. Notice what might be difficult here. What might be easy. Okay, and open the eyes and come off the block and we're going to come lay on your belly. Okay, take, um, bend the elbows, take the um, hands on top of each other and the forehead down to the back of the hands and bend the knees and windshield washer, windshield wiper, I always get that wrong, the feet left to right. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Good. And then pause in the middle and come up onto the right forearm. And then inhale the right left arm out to the front and exhale the left hand behind and catch the right foot. And then press the foot into the hand, hand into the foot and press down through the right forearm. And move the tailbone away from you. So you're lengthening through the lower back. Allow the belly to relax. And inhale, come back down. Hand to, so the other hand on top, hand, forehead to the hands. And windshield wipe the knees left to right again. Breathe into the belly area. And you're just massaging the belly there a little bit. And getting some movement in the lower back. Okay, and then pause in the center. Press down through the left forearm. So the elbow is going to come right underneath the shoulder. And then inhale the right arm out to the front. And then exhale, take it behind you to catch the left foot. And press the foot into the hand. And inhale, lift the chest away from the floor. Relax the belly. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And inhale, lower down. Keep the knees bent, take the forehead to the floor. And exhale, both hands behind to meet the feet. And we're not going to lift here at all. We're just going to settle in. Just move the knees back towards each other so they're in line with the hips. And firm the shoulder blades. Extend through the tailbone. And relax the belly. And then if this feels good, you can just stay here. Otherwise, take an inhale, and on the exhale, press the feet into the hands. 
and lift the thighs off the ground, lift the chest. Keep the knees in line with the hips. Relax the belly. Equal inhales and exhales, press the feet into the hands. Two more rounds of breath. And inhale, release back down. Take the hands underneath the forehead and windshield wiper the feet left to right. Good. And then come up onto all fours and come to lay on your back again. And you're going to have a block close by. I'm actually going to use a block. <laughs> Bend the knees. Take the feet onto the ground. And then lift the hips and take the block at its lowest height underneath the sacrum. And just allow the sacrum to settle down into the block. Relax the belly. Allow, <laughs> allow the hip flexors to lengthen. I'm laughing because my belly just had a massive rumble. Okay, and then belly button to the spine and exhale, slowly lift the right leg to 90 degrees and then slowly lift the left leg to 90 degrees. And pause here, allow the sacrum to settle into the block again. Keep the belly button reaching back towards the spine. And then lengthen the right leg up to the ceiling and lengthen the left leg. So the heels are reaching up to the ceiling. The hips are at 90 degrees. Exhale, lengthen through the heels a bit more. So the feet are dorsal flexed. So the toes are reaching down towards the shins. Good. So the belly button is still reaching back towards the spine. So the belly is relaxed at the same time. And relax the jaw. Release the tension in the shoulders. Good, and then bend the right knee and bend the left knee. Pause here and belly button to spine. Slowly step the right heel down and then the left heel. Good. Press down into all four corners of the feet and lift the hips, take the block to the medium height underneath the sacrum. And take a second here to make sure that that's in the right place. Otherwise the block is gonna fall. Settle the sacrum into the block. And you can either stay here or take the belly button to the spine and bend the right knee to 90 degrees and then bend the left knee to 90 degrees. And again, belly button to spine. Relax the shoulders. Relax the jaw. Maybe you want to open your mouth a bit and just stretch it out. And lengthen the right leg to the ceiling, lengthen the left leg to the ceiling. Reach through the heels. And this is where you'll know if the block is in the right place or not. And bend the right knee, bend the left knee. And exhale, set the right foot down and the left foot down. And then lift the hips and take the block away. Good. And draw the knees in towards the chest. And just rock side to side a little bit. And reach the left leg long. Right knee pulls in towards the chest. And exhale, switch. 
And exhale, switch. And exhale, switch. And then take the right leg to the mat, the left arm out to the side, and exhale the left leg across the body. Release any tension in the belly again. And lengthen through the right heel and the crown of the head. And inhale back to center. Draw the right knee into the chest. Reach the left leg long. Take it to the ground. Right arm out to the side and exhale the right leg across the body. And inhale back to center. Bend the knees. Take the knees together and walk the feet out to the edges of the mat. For constructive rest. Inhale the right arm, sorry, inhale the arms out to the side and exhale, hands to opposite shoulders. And settle the sacrum into the mat. Breathe into the belly. Inhale the arms out to the side and exhale, other arm on top. And take the arms alongside the body, walk your feet back towards each other, roll over onto the side and come to sit. And we're going to make our way over to the wall, to a wall, with a block for legs of the wall, Viparita Karini. So just come towards the wall where you have enough space to take the legs up the wall and take the left hip and left shoulder so that you're sideways to the wall. And exhale, take the torso down to the mat at the same time as you swing your legs up the wall. And you can just scooch the hips in a bit closer if you need to. And lift the hips. Take the block underneath the sacrum. To help with the natural curves of the spine here. And then walk the feet back up the wall. Take the hands to the belly. And close the eyes. And settle into the pose. Allow the back body to press down into the mat. Allow the back of the skull to melt down towards the ground. Feel the rise and fall of the belly with the inhale and the exhale. Relax the jaw. And feel the blood moving down from the legs towards the heart and towards the digestive system. So this pose is great for improving digestion because it's taking blood from the legs, the feet, moving it to the digestive system. So again, just notice any noises here in the belly, the digestive system. Notice the body, feeling of the legs and the feet. We'll be here for one more minute. I'm going to be quiet, but I'll still be here. Just take this moment to focus on the breath. 
in the body. Bring your attention back to the room. Pull your toes. Keep the circulation flowing in there again. And walk your feet down the wall, bending the knees. Lift the hips and take the block away. And roll over onto your right side. And just stay here for a moment. And then slowly come to sit. And you might feel a bit dizzy just because uh, we've been in a slight inversion. So just be easy on yourself. And we're going to finish with the Sitali breath again. So that is curling the tongue or pursing the lips. Okay, so just as a reminder, we're going to be Inhaling through the tongue or the lips for two, holding for one second, exhaling through the nose for two, and then we'll do that five times. Okay, so inhale through the lips, hold, exhale through the nose, and then continue that four more times. And then after the next one, just return to regular breathing. And bring your hands together at heart center. We'll finish with a single ohm. So inhale. Oh. Namaste. Because he's going to join me.